Hello everyone, welcome to iQuanta and welcome to Quant 200 series where we are discussing one of the best questions that you will see throughout all the topics, let it be numbers or algebra, or geometry or arithmetic and even modern maths. So this is another question in this series. So try this one and then we are going to discuss the solution. Okay, I hope you tried the question and got the correct answer. Now let's see the best way to solve this question. It says in an examination of 12,600 students, the ratio of total number of boys to total number of girls is 3 is to 4. The ratio of number of students who passed the exam to those who failed the exam is in the ratio of 11 is to 3. Among the girls, the ratio of number of students who passed to those who failed the exam is in the ratio of 11 is to 4. Find the difference between the number of boys who passed and failed the exam. So in this kind of questions where we have two different attributes and uh, two different categories, it's really good if you make a table. Okay, uh, It's not a DI problem but still making a table will be very helpful. You won't be confused at any point of the time. We have boys, we have girls, we have boys who passed the exam, we have students who have failed this exam and then we have total given as well. In case of uh, this as well, total is given. Now what do we have? We have total of total. What is total of total? 12,600. Of which boys is to girls, 3 is to 4. So can I say, if boys are 3x, girls will be 4x, total will be 7x. And in that case, number of boys will be equal to 3 by 7 into 12,000. 600. This is 1800 and this will be equal to 5400. So total number of boys 5400. Rest of them must be girls. So 12600 minus 5400, 7200 are girls. Now it says that uh, number of students who passed and who failed are in the ratio 11 is to 3. Again, this is 11 y this is 3y total it will be 14y so what we can say number of students passed will be equal to 11 out of 14 of 12600 14 into 9 is equal to 126 so 9900 students passed this exam and the rest of them which is 2700 failed this exam <laughs> Then the ratio of the number of students is already given and among the girls who passed and who failed are in the ratio 11 is to 4. So what we can say if this is 11 Z, this is 4 Z. So total 15 Z. So how many girls passed? Girls who passed will be 11 by 50 of 7200. 4 times 60, 8 times 120, 480 into 11 which is 0 then 8 then 2 <coughs> and then 5 5 to 8 0 these are the number of girls who passed so 5 to 8 0 number of girls who failed 7200 minus 5200 is 2000 minus 80 it will be 1920 so what we can say number of boys who passed will be 9900 minus 5280. 9900 minus 5300 is 4600 plus 20. 4620. Number of boys who failed 2700 minus 2780. Now, if you add these two, are we getting 5400? No, I guess uh, this value is not 5400. This is 5500, right? So we must have missed something. So let's check our calculation again. 9900 minus 5300 
is 4600 4620 so in this case is that clear yes so i guess this will be 780 that is correct so okay this this calculation is all good 46 plus 7 53 5400 so the difference that we are looking for the difference is equal to 4620 minus 780 which will be equal to 0 12 minus 8 is 4 then 45 minus 7 is 38 3840 that is your answer okay thank you